Welcome back, though. We're going to do a traditional uh, arena cube draft. I did three of these yesterday, and I enjoyed them a good deal. So, we'll see. Uh, this mic not working, what does that mean? Uh, the, the mic I'm using now is the MV7. It is also a sure mic, but it is XLR and USB, not just you, not just XLR. So it is also a dynamic mic. To the window, to the dogs. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're trying to avoid. And we're ready to go. Oh, I was just joking when you muted. Got it. I was like, what are you talking about? This seems like it's working fine. Yeah, the influx of new cards with Jumpstart and the remastered sets combined with best of three. I Yeah, well, I think this, this iteration of the Magic Arena Cube is also just better than the previous one. I think the previous one had a lot of dirtily cards that were just weren't that good, and I'm just I just felt like more of a regular draft format. I'm gonna take this chromatic ori, or orrery, chromatic or ornery, and I'm gonna do it. We're gonna build around this mother trucker, which means what drowned catacomb maybe. I think it's Drowned Catacomb. Lay Claim was pretty sweet yesterday. We got it used against us, and... Uh, Cruel Reality is pretty sweet. I kind of want to take Cruel Reality, guys. 40 seconds... Cure is not bad. I, I think I'd rather take Drown Catacomb just because it keeps us open. Open for five color. I, I'm going to take Drown Catacomb. I think at least one of the cards we wanted in that pack will come back. Scholar is pretty sweet. Um, Mythos is not super exciting. I think it just might be Evolving Wilds here. I don't love it, but... Uh, Vintage Cube is not up, right? Vintage Supreme drafts are up. Those are comp those are two different things. Um, yeah. I think it's Evolving Wilds. The pack was not very good. I could see taking Botan Botanical Sanctum, but... I don't want to have to rely on like the the fast the fast lands. Um <sighs> Might just be hieroglyphic elimination. Like drawing two seems fine. Also cycles early. Siege Gang Commander, also a pretty decent card. I'll take the Illumination for now. Oh, a Steam Vents seems great for us. Yeah, this pack doesn't seem super exciting, but Steam Vents is uh, is pretty great. They also, like, I want, what I want is uh, Shocklands. Okay, well. I'm going to mute that for now. Yeah, I'm gonna close this for now. Okay. Um, we want we want these lands and then the lands that let them come into play untapped. We want the check lands and the shock lands. Don't care too much about fast lands. I think I'm just taking Sun Petal Grove here. We're trying to go five colors here. Oh, Godless Shrine. Yeah, let's take a Godless Shrine for sure. Also, Scattered Groves are nice and Triomes are nice for us as well. Dryad Green Seeker seems pretty sweet. This card has always been great for me. They're like you. 
like it, it just m mitigates your land draws. Domri works well with chromatic ori. It also ramps you. I think it's better than octopus. Yeah, all right, sure. I just had to go with Supreme Vintage Cube. My three Soul Ring, two Mox deck wasn't fast enough. Yeah, yeah, that's about that's about where I sit on the uh, on the format as well. I didn't enjoy it that much when I played it last time. This card's not good. Elspeth might be fine. The tragedy of my death has only strengthened my resolve. Uh... Siege gang, sure. This this is looking interesting. Oh, I love a Jaya's Emulating Inferno. However, I don't know how likely we are to be able to cast it. <sighs> Hydroid Crassus is pretty sweet. Immortal Sun is interesting. We already have two Planeswalkers, though, so less interesting because of that. I think it just might be Crassus, especially with Chromatic Ori. I mean, I feel like there's a higher chance of Finale coming back. So, ooh, Savai Triome. Yeah, I think we're just taking the Savai Triome. It turns on both Drowned Catacombs and Sun Petal Grove. I think I'll likely take every Triome that I can get my hands on because they're very good. Yep, same. Inscription of Insight, pretty sweet. Um, Might just want to take some removal like Banishing Light. Midnight Clock also pretty sweet. Keeps us from decking. No Supreme Vintage. I think Supreme Vintage is a shit format. I, I really do. I'm taking the clock because I think it's very good. Refilling your hand for seven and then preventing you from decking yourself is uh is a nice is a nice bonus. I'm gonna take Knight of Autumn. In this format, there's a lot of artifacts and enchantments that I'd like to be able to avoid. Maybe not avoid them, but you know, kill them when they come up. I'll take Sulfur Falls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have ten playables right now. Alright, let's... Oh, Shonda Heart of Fire was actually amazing for us the other day. Yeah, that's a pretty easy pick here. Nothing can slow me down. I agree with mill protection being important in this format as well. Um, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 lands. So we have 11 playables. I think I want the Chandra over the Hinterland Harbor. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're about to. <laughs> You're about to. Got him. Got he. Um. Twelve playables. Finale of Devastation could be good. With Chromatic Ori, we get an extra five mana. 
We also have Midnight Clock, Domri. You know what? Sure. Hornet Queen? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, Skittering Surveyor? Sure. Oh, Inscription was the other card I was looking at taking, so getting that now is pretty sweet. Also, make sure you let me know if this new mic is okay still. I want to make sure it's like there's no there's no glitches because I'll definitely I'll definitely use it. So I'm mostly just trying it out, right? Like if so the previous mics I was using are the the Sure SM7Bs, which are literal industry standards. Uh, this one is the MV7. And it's, it's also made by Shure, but um, it is a USB mic as well. Which benefits me. It, it also, I don't, with the with the Shure SM7B, it is a, uh, it, it needs a ton and a ton of ton of gain. Uh, which which means you need an activator as well, which is, uh, it just boosts the gain quite a bit before it gets through the to the computer. So, um, I don't need that and I don't need the interface that I'm currently using. This is actually, I think it's just Woodland Cemetery here. Could be hostage taker too. I want to take the hostage taker. Oh, chromatic lantern! Wow, that seems like exactly what we want for this deck. Good grief! Was my message too long? I didn't get any message from you, so yes, probably. Oh, Michael B. What up, Michael B? I didn't even see. I didn't see his message. Uh, I think we we're just taking over Grunt Tomb. We just got a bunch of playables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're at 18. Need about five playables. I'm going with the Overgrown Tomb here. Hmm. Assassin's Troy might just be the ticket here. I also do like Kogla. I mean, Kogla's just real sweet, right? Hmm. Marari's Wake is real fascinating here. There's no Emrakul, though. Matt, I have no idea why that message didn't come through. Um... Actually, I, I said it earlier, but Matt, I actually did some Supreme Vintage Cubes back during PAX. It was about a month ago. And uh, not great, Bob. I'm going to take Scorching Dragonfire. Oh, a, a th another Triome? Jeez. Yeah, three Triomes is where I want to be. All right, what are we at now? I really hate that I have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need about three playables. I kind of like Cloud Blazer here. Oh my god, there it is! I don't know if that's actually that great for us. We have one, two, three, four, five. We only have five double cards. But... Still pretty good. We could also just take um, Traxos. Nah, we're just taking it. Miss it. Oh, the Woodland Cemetery came back. Also, back for more is pretty sweet. You just return a creature from your graveyard, and then they get to fight. We already have Overgrown Tomb, and I think we have. We also have Zagoth Triumph. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the back for more because I think we need like one more playable. Plane wide celebration is kind of sweet. Um, I don't know if we're going to play that, but it's pretty sweet. Patient rebuilding is just good, right? I'm 
I'm gonna take shadows. Ah, I'm just taking the patient building. Find finality is pretty sweet. It is also a sweeper if we need one. Oh, actually, integrity. Yeah, all right, cool. All right. I think we definitely have enough playables here. Alright, this mana base is pretty wild. I would love to move all these over one, but I can only do it like this, so. Alright, and then it... Oh my god. That's annoying. Yep. I really just want my seven drops to be in an actual slot, not like a six plus slot, so there we go. Uh, I like these. These are also X spells. Jeez. Shut up and take my money. Oh, number two deuce dropper. Don't mind me, just dropping a deuce. I wouldn't mind you at all. I appreciate you. Alright, so... I mean, Finale can get Hornet Queen, Kogla, Niv-Mizzet, Cloud Blazer, Sh Siege Gang, Hostage Taker, Knight of Autumn. Yeah, I mean, that seems pretty decent. So this is 17 lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, that's 17 lands. Is there anything we like up here better? Patient rebuilding is strong. What are odds of Jaya's emulating in front? We have Chandra, Chandra, Kogla, Niv-Mizzet, Elspeth, Domri. So we have six planeswalkers. Or creatures that could actually contribute to that. I don't love it. I mean, playing about celebration is also pretty sweet. I also like integrity intervention as like a just a, it's it's just war leader's helix basically. I guess it's a four mana lightning helix, right? So, um, and find finality actually seems pretty good. How many creatures do we have? I'm going to say 11. 10. It's one off. Which makes me wonder if we would find finality instead of like finale of devastation. Do the people who write this app actually use it? Why do you why do you say that? I'm curious. I think I do like find finality better than that, uh, this fi I, I like find finality better than finale. That's a sentence right there. Okay. So as usual, I'm going to get my little thing out. We got four white. Eight blue. Four black. I don't even know if this is correct. Six red. Nine green. And then you got eight gold. So that doesn't help me at all, unfortunately. Let's count. One, two, th I can't actually go over them and count. I have to like count from a distance. Otherwise, it, it hides things and I don't know where to go. But also, it's like I want to be able to hover over these with my mouse, mouse and count them. Like, okay, three here. Wait, where's the next card that I need to hover over? Um, Okay, here. And then down here. And then is there anything under CG? Nope, okay. It's just really, it really drives me, it drives me up a wall. Any recommendations regarding cologne? Um, one cologne I was actually pretty fond of was uh, Savage by Johnny Depp. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so it says green. We have 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And there's already 10. I'm already counting 10. 11. What the fuck? Hold on. Look, 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 look. So wait, does it not count gold cards? That doesn't make any sense either, right? 1... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so the nine green 
is counting one, two, three here, one, two, three here, seven here, and then the two hybrid. The gold cards are actually separate. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Here's a, oh, wow. I just found a, a workaround. If I want to like hover over things with my mouse, I can hover over them to count without actually highlighting them if I have another program in front. Yeah, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen green. Mike is right. Oh boy. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue. Mike is right again. See, they showed me eight blue though. What the fuck are they counting? Eight blue. Are they counting cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Green was nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think they're counting cards. Okay. That makes more sense. Oh, yeah. All right. Maybe you guys knew that. In my face. Okay. Well. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. See, it's weird because you're coming from another client, Magic Online, which when you ask for the analysis, it gives you the pips. And on, on here, it gives you the cards. And nor does it doesn't actually say that anywhere. It just says deck details. Nowhere does it say this is representing cards. Dorad is calling you. I'm not, yeah, I'm not so sure. Although this art is adorable. It's adorable. All right. So I'm just trying to, look, dude, I'm just trying to figure out what lands I need here. I'm going to go with what Mike said. Nine blue, eight red, three black, four white. Oh, Mike's a liar because he didn't. He he's he's wrong. Unbelievable. So white, we have one Knight of Autumn, two on Elspeth. That's three Niv Miz. It's four Cloud Blazer. Is five. And he said four. So, you know, what did you say for black? Uh, three for black. Uh, we have one, two, three. That seems correct. Um, I would I would count the finale as well. One, two, three, four. So I would say four actually. Anyway, uh, green we obviously have the most. Green sources we have one, two. I don't think uh, survive. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll say five and not count the count the basics here. MTGO does give you a number without a definition of what that is, but that's my point is more that MTGO has done a, a, a thing a certain way. There's a precedent in Magic that this has been done a certain way for 20 years. We've all figured it out. Magic Online has been around since like 2002, you know, or something ridiculous, right? So that's the precedent. The precedent is already set. Just because Magic doesn't say what it is now doesn't mean it's not a precedent, right? So like all of a sudden you've changed it. And now, when you give random random mana symbols, it means a different thing from the previous client that has been established, well established for like the past 15, 20 years, right? So it's just a different, it's weird. It's just not, it's weird. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Red sources. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, five as well. Black sources. One, two, three four five six we also probably want one of each because we have skittering surveyor white sources we have one two three four not a ton i can almost see taking out elspeth because she's double white because of this uh blue we have one two three four five six okay is there anything better than Elspeth here? I'm just saying good design should be clear. 
Hmm. Well said. I do like that we have Chromatic Lantern and Midnight Clock to ramp us. We have Green Secret. Also, Domri adds mana as well. I think it actually might just be Integrity Intervention. We don't have a ton of removal, but having Intervention to just deal some damage is nice. I don't want to have another 5 drop. Plus, Integrity Intervention is another card that Niv-Mizzet can hit, which is pretty sweet. I think Patient Rebuilding is fantastic, but... I think our deck actually looks... What, what are these two islands doing over here? Unbelievable. Islands are like one of the cards we need the least. Um, so this is one white, one red. So white goes down to four. And red goes up to nine. Okay. So let's cut these out. Green, we only have five sources. I feel like we... We're definitely adding one of everything, and then we'll just clean up everything else when we're done. Can I search for Avon? Of course not. That would be... That would be too intuitive. I tried the Bob Ross codes yesterday. They did not work. Yes. Did I miss a, did I miss a swamp? All right. Um, so let's bump everything. One, six, six, seven, seven, five. And we get two more lands. I'm pretty sure we just want another forest and another mountain. Done. Deck looks beautiful. We're going to 0-3, but that's okay. That's how we do. Yeah, Bob Ross codes. Yeah, that's we Yesterday, I just realized them that they existed. And so I tried them. And the article said, Hey, buddy. These expired on the on the 14th, and it was the 15th, and I was just like, "Perfect." Thank you, Oral. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back to the thing with the stuff. Look at their ugly triumphs. <laughs> Oh, a skelly. Okay. Well, we cannot... Cannot play Knight of Autumn yet. Next turn, we can go Hieroglyphic Illumination or Mythos. We can go blue, blue, green, red. A little Judith. Where were you last turn? Yeah, we're just going to take four here. Knight of Autumn can refresh us if we need. I think I might just cycle Hieroglyphic Illumination here because we have Crassus in hand. I want to make sure we can hit land drops. Siege Gang Commanders. Fuck, dude. Come on. I leave the Golgari now. Step aside or be crushed. Really? Now we're definitely cycling. What else does she do when a permanent dies? When a token dies, you deals no non-token creature dies, deals one. Sure. What? A life for a life. Oh wow. 
I did not expect that. I'm still cycling. I think getting through our deck is a lot more important than drawing one additional card at a later point in the game. Is this... Oh, three to a Planeswalker, huh? Wow. That was... Really surprising. Um, let's keep in mind, Hydra Crassus dies to Vraska. Mm, boy, I think it's I think it's just Siege Gang into Godless Shrine. Wow, being able to keep Chromatic Lantern for a turn is just fantastic. You think they're gonna sack this guy with with the Vraska? I mean, the damage is done now. We have all our colors. Sometimes sacrifice is I'm actually, like, really surprised they're just... They're just pumping Vraska. I mean, I would have 100% gotten rid of Chromatic Lantern last turn. But I mean, I feel like we shoot Judith. If we Mythos Vraska and kill Judith, then they kill our Vraska. And I don't think that's where we want to be, really. Um, it feels like a waste. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I mean, you gotta kill the goblin, right? And then we're gonna Scorching Dragon Fire. So now they don't have the option of killing, uh anything I have now. They can still sack reassembling skeleton, but then it can't block if they get it back. And also Mythos on Siege Gang. Yeah, that's all fine. None of this is super exciting. It was probably going to die anyway. So now we can go Mythos, copy Siege Gang, have one Siege Gang, fight the Luris. Oh, that's actually really good. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what the problem is. I just want this Chandra to resolve. 
T -t -t today, Junior. Oh, they didn't even they didn't even use their witch's oven. This makes me wonder if they're no longer there. Oh, I think this is a fine choice when we have Hydroid Crassus and Chandra on board. Yeah, I think they're no longer there. I think the the they're on auto right now. And we're just waiting for the rope. Uh, we do not have mana to play Knight and Chandra. We only had seven. So we couldn't do that. Mike, you're... You're terrible today. This is this is not your... These are not your finest suggestions, my dude. <laughs> but you did help me out with the... Uh, the mana, so... What is this thing? Is this Diablo? Okay, yeah, we're just playing for funsies now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Sure. Draw two. Okay, they are there. Interesting. Fascinating. I mean, there's no point in killing this. We're just going to sack it and then get it back, so... We might as well go to the face here. I'm only really good for one math thing a day. Okay, but that's good. It's, it's important to know your limitations, you know? Oof. Well, that's a big oof. I mean, we're just getting rid of grasses here. Blank, blank, just generic creature is no nowhere near the same as Planeswalker at seven loyalty. You got it. So we can actually play Ori, and then we have what six mana left over. Oh yeah, we should have definitely. We should have definitely knighted there. That would have been better. But unless we see the cat, like, I don't care about one food. I guess it's fine. Um, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go or Orri. I feel like we have a lot a lot of things going for us right now. Let me know if this mic is too close, if it's too far. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Wait, they didn't choose that? Oh, I guess they chose Luris. Oh, and then they cast it from the graveyard. Sure, 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 sure. I mean, at this point, I think one hit to, to Chandra is probably better than losing a, a, a creature, especially if it's a stupid reassembling skeleton. You got it. Gain your, eat your little foods. So we got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana. Good gravy, dude. Uh, 
I'll take these four cards into my hand. <laughs> yeah, that seems good. <laughs> All right, no attacks in the turn. I was definitely copying the queen with this and fighting it. Yeah, that's definitely an option. I'm going to save it till next turn, though. So we have Chromatic Ori, which can draw us, like, literal five cards this turn. Uh, we have Midnight Clock going, which is going to draw seven and, you know, keep us from decking. We have an active Chandra. And we just drew four off Niv-Mizzet. This, this is a deck, all right. Oh, that guy's good. I like that this is the mana cost. Four generic, five generic, six generic, four generic, four generic. And you're like, oh, all right, cool. One, two, three. They have three available mana, none of which is red. Uh, I don't think we can do anything. Nope. Oh, well, that's pretty good, right? Holy smokes. I mean, that just kills them slowly, right? Thankfully, this is non-token creature, so I'm not super concerned with that. Let's get rid of that guy. Do we have anything that we can get? Oh, we can get Siege Gang with back for more. That's pretty sweet. Is this any graveyard? No, it's your graveyard. Okay, good to know. How much mana do we have? One, two, we have four mana left, so we can keep up. Yeah, that seems fine. I think they're way dead. I mean, Luris doesn't do much right now. It gets back literally nothing except for Stitcher's Supplier. And Judith is non-token, so it only affects Reassembling Skeleton. So... Um, I don't know how many hits we have, actually. I think we upped it when we put in Integrity Intervention. So I think it probably went from, like, four to, like, eight, I think, because we added one card. That's how that works, right? Also, you guys will be excited to know that... Interesting. You'll be excited to know that my Walking Dead secret layers have shipped today. So that's exciting. I can sink man into the clock, but I'm not really ready to get rid of my things. What are they hitting? I can't see what they're targeting. Oh, they're just drawing a card. Never mind. I'm, I'm an idiot. Is expendable, except me. Uh, is it my turn? Huh. MTGO Cube is up, but it's only... It's Supreme Vintage Cube, which is n not nearly the same. Let's get toasty. I'll keep that back. Is there any way we can kill them right now? I don't think so. Did I miss lethal? Oh, 
oh, I just cared about that thing. Oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't even care. Oh, this would also been, that would have also been a banger. We missed lethal like on, in four different metrics. Like, I'm sorry, man. When you have, when you're playing a deck like this, and you got Hornet Queen and Niv Mizzet and two Chandras and Chromatic Ori and a Chromatic Lantern and Chromatic Ori and and you got to you don't care about you don't care about lethal. You just care about doing cool shit. Okay, let's be clear. Okay, let's not be silly. I'm here for a good time. I'm not here for a long time, guys. Okay. Can we at least do one Supreme? I mean, I'll probably do one. And then I'll be like, yep, this is exactly as bad as I remember it being. I think our opponent's trying to figure out how to concede. More like a shit time. You wow. Can someone time Michael out, please? Is Power Nine in Supreme Vintage? Yes, it is, which makes it terrible because then you start seeing decks with like. Four moxes, two soul rings, three time walks, and you're like, okay, well. I remember I, when I did the one dur I did during PAX, it had like three mana drains in it. <laughs> Maybe four, dude. I don't even remember. It was pretty ridiculous. Me, I'm too powerful to be. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, boy, he's sick, boy! Did our opponent just quit? Are they just like, they're just done? Is this their silent, their silent rebellion? I mean, I'll be honest, if I played against our deck, I would also probably just lose all the will to live, you know? Hunter's in the little bed. How's the mic, guys? Holding up? Not a big deal? Okay, I'll keep it. All right, it's their turn. We got all the colors here. Michael, didn't you know I was getting new mics? I'm trying them out because they're USB instead of XLR. So, look at that stupid skeleton. So next turn we got a white and a green. So next turn we can play Knight of Autumn if we wish. And then we can follow it up with both of these. This is a curve right here. Knight into Intervention into Cloud Blazer. You got it. We're doing it. We're living the dream. We're living the dream. 
Yeah, so I can get rid of my interface and my um, activator. The activator is literally just a device that that gives you more gain for your mic because the Shure SMB SM7B is notorious for having uh, very low gain. You have to have like an activator in between like the mic and whatever device you're using, and it'll raise the gain so that it can be so that you can hear it. But I mean, it's a it's a pretty perfect mic otherwise. Unlike Michael B, who is. A flawed mic. Got him. Uh, pass. I don't know what they're doing. Like, they're, like, using all their timeouts? I don't know what's happening, man. This is wild. Oh, see? That's even better. Wow. I'm just making a 4-3 here. It's beginning to look a lot like Michael. Hidden stockpile. The combos are real. Do they play any white card? Yeah, they're playing four colors too, but like, not to much worse effect, you know? They're gonna scry? They didn't even scry. Okay, okay. Oh, we got a new Kaya spoiled, guys. That's pretty sweet. Shatter skull smashing for three? And you just used your whole thing to do that? I mean, okay. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious, right? <laughs> oh, we don't have three green for Kogla, though. We're way off of that. Actually, Domri plus this forest gives us three green. Oh, they're going to sack it during their turn to get a 1-1. At least that would be my assumption. it on the top not gonna do anything with this but don't forget your little skeleton yep had a feeling you had that lady so Domri will take two, and then you can sack this to deal him three. He'll go to one. You did not attack Domri at all. Is this human? Oh my god. I can bounce Cloud Blazer to save Kogla. At a later point. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, you think I'm just gonna let you pace me? I mean, they can just sack this guy, get their guy back. That's fine.
They have three cards. Gain control of that guy, sack it, sure. Oh man, Koglik infinitely bouncing Blazer is pretty nuts. Oh my god, we can also bounce Hostage Taker. Oh. These are the days of our lives. Let's get rid of your hidden stockpile. Seems good. See, again, we could have Hostage Taker, but they have four mana. They have two cards. I don't know what they have, so I'm just kind of playing it safe here. Um, I was raised by wolves. Though, well, they might have also just been big dogs. Man, my recurring card seems much better than your recurring card. And we get to keep up green again to either save this from removal or save this from removal. So that's pretty good. Our deck is cool. Well, I'm just going to play this to kill the, get the blocker out of the way. Okay, I guess we're done here. Welp, see you later. That match went as well as could have gone expected. Dude, this article is called Christopher Walken has never owned a computer or mobile phone or sent an email. <laughs> Jesus, how? How is that real? Oh, this seems good. Evolving Wilds can get a green, which is our only color we don't have here. Turn, this is a turn three clock. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, me too, man. Me too. Dryad Green Seeker. You're gonna put that in my deck? Uh, okay. Sure. Rishkar Hogar. So the strategy is to do this during your upkeep because if it's a land, you want to put it into play instead of drawing it. Oh, see, this is what I mean. That's what that's I meant to do it. But then magic has this weird thing where it's like, 
I'm just kidding. So we, now we know we're hitting this. Instead, we would have drawn the land, or we would put the land to play drawn this, and then we could have played this this turn. And now it's all ruined. And now we just don't get an activation off this guy, basically. Okay, sure, it goes in my hand, but that's you, you know my point. You get the point, okay? We would have drawn the land. I kind of just want to draw scry two, then draw two here. Um, I'm gonna bottom you. I'll keep the clock. That's a big boy. Thankfully, this guy does not have trample. So we'll have four mana after this. Sure. Once upon a time. What, do they hit that guy? Sure, no attacks. End of that turn. Next time we can go Ori into Knight? That seems really good. Well, that seems pretty rough. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. Tear it down. Okay, well I get to keep my guy. We're fit enough to survive. Okay, okay. That's a big guy. So we know they have Champion of Wits, one card, and a memory in the graveyard. Any mic issues? Now everyone back into the woods. What? What's, what does that mean? Why are we running back into the woods? I don't know what the holdup is. I'm just trying to. Didn't you just say tear down civilization? <laughs> okay, see, I didn't put those two together. God, this is perfect time at like three o'clock where like keeping the window open, great idea. Sun starts going down at four. And then it's like, well, now it's just a bad idea. Oh, what does that do? Nothing yet, huh? I hope your last card isn't a counterspell, I guess. It's really my hope and dream. <sighs> cool. That's cool. Wait, what? Oh, they didn't... 
Did they choose the wrong mode? What? What? I'm immensely confused by that. Can't say I expected that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well, we might just be dead here. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Okay, well, we're not. Pass to blockers. So this is 16. We're blocking three. We go to 13. I'm actually going to throw this in the front, too. Alexa, stop. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. So we can actually, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 13 mana. So we're gonna make this, we're gonna want this for four, right? So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we're gonna do this for four or no, eight rather. One, two, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to try to draw a land in the top four. We're going to Mythos the Questing Beast. Oh, that's a great land to hit. Also play Domri and have them fight. We have to just get rid of this guy, right? Well, it asks me. It asks me which is the which is. I I, I want to be able. I want to make sure we got a red and a green in there. That's just removal, right? All right. Curry, you woke up at noon today? They have one card. It's gonna draw. It's gonna draw six. They're gonna draw six. They're gonna mill us for seven. Which is pretty I'd get good. Out of the way, if I were you. I mean, we have to block, so. Death, touch, and trample is a hell of a hell of a thing. I should have blocked the two one. Wow, that was that was something. That interaction never comes up, and it's really frustrating when you lose to it. really frustrating. Yeah, one land we get Sur Surveyor and we get uh, Midnight Clock, so... Here we 
go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and he just won land. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. Well, this is a fun match. Triome, huh? Sounds good. Please go buy a lottery ticket. We were extremely lucky. Oh, man. I also think 100% the correct play is to actually counter my Chromatic Orrery, not draw two cards in response, but... Sometimes it doesn't matter when you get Questing Beast and Vivian. Uh, that's frustrating. This one's good. Can ship the six drop. How many blue? We have, we have single blue here. Actually, it might be better to split the, ship the mythos. Like, we already have three green here, so we can play Kogla if we get any two lands. We can only cast the mythos if we get another blue land. That's a good ass draw. to attackers. Okay, we gotta find an answer to that, unfortunately. But I guess they're a little bit of ways away from 
actually doing anything with it. We can just play Overgrown, cast Hy Hieroglyphic, and then uh, Kogla next turn. This costs six to activate. Yeah, that's very unlikely that they're gonna. Big monkey, check it and see. Uh, I'll submit this one. Seems good. Oh boy. At least we kept the old Knight of Automa. Really have to get rid of Resplendent Angel, but don't really have a way to do that, unfortunately. Okie dokie. Wow, that was amazing. All right, so now we have an answer for Felidar Retreat. Have an answer for Resplendent Angel. And we can gain some life. I forgot we were still in combat there. Wow, that was Knight of Autumn is a, a dryad. No, it would have been awesome though. Keep bouncing it. That would that's a, that would be a combo. That's what's known as a combination maneuver. Um, trading their two two for our two one is. Dang it, I, I fell for it. I fell for your trick. Okay, well, this is pretty good. We do get to kill this guy again. Yep. What do we got here? We got black, black, black. We have green, 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 green. Blue, blue. Let's get a second red. And next turn, one, two. Oh, we need a third blue? God damn it. <laughs> See, that's my bad. Ugh, dang it. Is this guy a human? Hmm. Could just bounce the spirit and, like, the other spirit. I have one card. They're probably going to exile Kogla here. Son of a biscuit. I'm so mad at myself now. We could go bounce, 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 bounce. Um, draw to. Oh, God. 
Yeah, they're definitely gonna grab code later. Sure. Well, we're still gonna... Oh, that's a good one. And what's the other one? I can't, literally can't see underneath it. There we go. Domri, okay. I mean, we could hit this, but then they sacrifice in response and we kind of want the life here, so. Oh my God, that's that third blue, man. Actually, we don't have another island, so I'm not really like, I'm, I'm sad we couldn't do it, but it wasn't really anything I did. Life is rough, but not dead yet. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Wow, they really fucked me with the red, didn't they? That's amazing. <laughs> I can't, I'm losing fucking games due to this stupid auto tapper, man. Oh my god. Yep. I mean, we could have fought one and then gone to one next turn and then gotten rid of the other one. That's that's the game. That's the game right there. We just lost the game because of the auto tapper. <sighs> fucking amazing. That's insane. <sighs> so I think that the, the lesson we've learned here is that we definitely want more, um, just hard, just hard removal, like heartless act or you know, go for the throat, things like that. I'm hot blooded. Yep, gonna keep this one too because of Chromatic Lantern. Any one land, and we get to play Chromatic Lantern, right? Like, what? What could go wrong? Why well, you think we're playing like a blue-black deck? Just don't have Heliod's intervention. That's all. The auto tapper went and betrayed me. It's true. <sighs> love it. Absolutely love it. Wow, well, had an answer for a fucking three mana artifact every single game.
If that just ain't the thing. I mean, we can play Sulfur and actually Mythos copy their Skyclave Apparition. Get a 3-3. Three, three. I think I want to just work towards Find Finality. And next time we also have Intervention up because of the Sulphur Falls and the Sun Petal Grove, so we'll see. When I had a life total lower than three. gonna pass here we're gonna take like six but we have intervention we also don't have a land for fine finale that's that's nice i'm wondering which is better to kill the apparition God's willing, every game is what I have. I don't show me the God's willing that you have. Okay, <laughs> sure. Seems terrible. Oh, all right. On land. Well, that's actually not. Oh, it's actually it is terrible actually because we don't have the fucking mana for it. <laughs> yep. All right. Oh, we can pay. That's nice. So do I get to stack them however I want? Let's hit control and see if we can manage to make this work. Resolve. Okay. Oh. Target's a one non land permanent. Yeah, let's submit that. Fight you. So we'll fight first so that the leaves trigger goes on now, and we don't have anything. And now we get to steal this guy, and they never get it back. I mean, that was pretty decent, all things considered. We are at friggin' 7, and they have an essential, essentially a 5-5 five, five if they play a land.
Thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know how the new mic sounds. And uh, be sure to follow or subscribe if you want to support the channel so I don't live on the, on the streets. And uh, I'll see you next time.